Hello beautiful people! It has been a while since I filmed a video, hasn't it? I know, I do this to you all the time. I am a dingus. I'm a... I'm a poop head. It's a good one. I've had a lot of issues in the past month or so. I will openly say that. I've had some stress issues. I've had some emotional issues. I've had some health issues and none of it has been fun. But I'm doing okay now. I'm on my way to being happy again. I don't know why this happens. It just does sometimes. I just kind of fall into a little bit of a slump. And then I'm like, I don't want to do anything. And I'm just sad, mopey, mopey, mope. And I don't like being like that. Usually I think that I'm a somewhat positive person, but sometimes you just, you can't be that person. Sometimes you gotta take a little break for yourself. So that's what I did, that's why I was gone, but now I'm here, I'm happy, and uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that brought me out of that slump, because I believe that everyone has slumps every once in a while, and it's hard to find that one little thing that'll just kind of make everything better. At least that's what happens for me. I don't really know what to do until all of a sudden something is just there and it's like, why didn't I know about this this entire time? Now I can work my way to being happy again. Does that make sense? I don't know. Something that helps me whenever I get into a little bit of a slump, I like to try new things and it takes me a while to get there before I can try the new thing but once I do I'm like why didn't I do this sooner? This helped me so much. So something that I'm trying new is longboarding actually. I never thought that I would get into longboarding but it is so fun. It's kind of like skateboarding for those of you who don't know except you can like turn a little better like the board wobbles and it's just it's hard to balance sometimes but it's really fun. My wonderful boyfriend bought me the longboard because I love him and he's amazing and he's just great and I am just so thankful that he did because I haven't been in a place where I can try new things all the time so I'm really glad that I can actually go outside and do something different. I don't know maybe it's just me but you know going outside is fun sometimes. Sometimes it is when there's not killer bees or you know angry bears. I don't even have bears in my yard. I have moose. I have moose sometimes. They're really cute actually but they're kind of scary. A little scary, yeah. Something else that I found that really helps is just talking to my family. I was in a place for a while where I wouldn't really talk to them much. I would just kind of lock myself in my room and, you know, watch YouTube videos, go on Tumblr, all that stuff. I wouldn't have just regular, everyday conversations with them, and I didn't realize how much I missed it until I started doing that again. So I highly recommend it. I know that I'm very lucky to have such a great family, and I know that not everyone is in that place, but just find someone that you can just talk to about everyday things. How your car ride to work was how the air is very fresh today. That was the weirdest conversational topic I thought of off the top of my head. Yes, the air is very fresh today. I don't know. But you know what I mean, just everyday regular things. For some reason that just really helped me out and maybe it'll help you too, maybe it won't, but I suggest even trying it because there's no harm in trying. I would like to say that just telling yourself to be more positive or just be happy helps, but if anything, it just makes things worse, for me at least. I feel like when I'm sad or depressed, I'm just kind of in this hole, and this hole is isolated from everyone else, and it's dark. There is no light. Light is metaphorical happiness. And when I tell myself to be more happy, be positive, don't be depressed, all that stuff, I just dig the hole deeper. And this is the worst miming of a shovel that I have ever done. <laughs> And it's hard. It is so hard to tell yourself that it's okay sometimes, you know? It's taken me a month and a half to get here, to be in a place where I can tell myself that I'm okay. And sometimes it takes people longer than that, and that is totally, totally okay. Sometimes you need to find someone who can tell you it's okay, and I needed that. I totally needed that. I didn't understand that I needed that at the time, but I did. And sometimes it's just so difficult to find that person and it's hard to admit that you have a problem. I get terrified when I'm upset because I don't like bringing other people down and I'm scared of doing that. But sometimes you just got to open up and just trust that whoever you're talking to is going to be there for you. And it's scary, 
and it's hard, but I just, I recommend it because it does help. If you ever find yourself in a place where you cannot find anyone to talk to and you just need someone, anyone at all, just to just talk to, I am always here for you. I totally promise that I will be here for you and tell you it's okay. You can always talk to me on Tumblr, Disney is a wonderland.tumblr.com or at myscar.tumblr.com. My ask boxes are always open and you can go on anonymous if you need to, just if you need someone, just know that I'm here, okay? because that's just important to me that you know that you're never alone. Something else that I find really helps is that once you are in that good place where you are just happy and just comfortable, remind yourself how fantastic you are because you are fantastic. You are so, so cool. And not enough people remind themselves how great they are. And it's sad. It's so sad. So just please take a minute out of your day or something where you're just like, yeah, I'm so cool. I'm so great. Yeah, I'm the best. Uh-huh. No one could touch me. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. And totally do the weird hand motion when you do it. Just doing little things for yourself really, really helps. Treat yourself. Eat an Oreo. Sometimes, that's what I do. Sometimes I just shove an Oreo in my face. I'm like, I'm great, I deserve an Oreo. <laughs> a little thing that I'm doing for myself right now, actually, is that I am wearing a shirt that exposes my stomach. Now it has taken me a very long time to get to a place where I can wear something like this. And I am wearing it purely for myself. You know, I went into Forever 21 and I saw all these shirts that expose your stomach because that's what they have this time of year, even though there is a ton of snow on the ground. I do not know who decided that spring starts when there's still a ton of snow on the ground. Anyways, off topic, I was in Forever 21 and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try on this shirt and I'm gonna try on these crazy patterned pants that you can't see. Ta-da, these are my pants. I don't know if you saw that. And I tried them on and I was like, you know what, I look good. So I bought them. And I was like, I'm gonna wear this because I like it. I don't care if anyone doesn't like it because I'm wearing it for me and I feel great, and that's all that matters, so ha 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 ha. So I just thought over everything that I just said, and I think my recipe for success is wear cool clothes, tell yourself you're great, and eat a lot of Oreos, and I'm okay with that. That is a really good recipe to success, in my opinion, so that's, that's what works for me when I'm sad. Do that. <laughs> In all seriousness, just find what works for you. It's gonna take a lot of trial and error. This trial and error may take a month. It may take a month and a half. It may take 19 years. It may take a long time, but you know what? The trek all the way there is worth it because in the end, when you're in that zone and you're happy and you're telling yourself how great you are, you feel fantastic and you it's just, it's great. It's a great feeling. So honestly, just keep trying and just talk to me if you need to because I'm always here for you. Again, DisneyTheWonderland.tumblr.com, LMYscar.tumblr.com, anytime, any day, I'm here for you. You're not alone. You are fantastic and beautiful and great. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what you look like. You are great and you should never ever forget that. Don't forget to be awesome and I will talk to you guys later. broke this plate and my dad got it for my mom in India and it's made from the same tiles as the uh, Taj Mahal and uh, I'm really glad it didn't break. <laughs> oh I would have been in trouble. <laughs>